What is going on, lovely ladies? Welcome back to the channel. As you can see, we are in a brand new studio. I am very pleased with how this is turning out. I got kind of a mock setup in the background. Hopefully everything's looking real sharp for you. Now for the title of this video, you might be very confused. Why on earth would I ever grow my facial hair for 10 days straight? So I will show you what my facial hair actually looks like if I grow it out. And I will tell you the exact reasons as to why I would ever do such a thing. It has something to do with this, maybe. I will show you and I will tell you the reasons why, but before I do that, please follow my Instagram. I also have a Facebook page, so make sure you are following me there. And if you don't know a lot about me, my name is Demetria, and I'm here to make you the long, cool woman that I know you can be. So we're gonna get right down into it. So why on earth would I ever grow this out? Due to everything going on in the world right now, we are all familiar with it, it has affected all of us. We have to deal with wearing a mask. And the reason I was kind of okay with making a video about this and growing out my hair for that long is because we just have to wear a mask. So you kind of have to just worry about the makeup here, right? It's been easier to walk around kind of unkempt because you only got half your face. I've done a few shaving videos recently and I've kind of shown you the basics of how shaving works because I want you to understand how basic shaving works because the goal is to get a baby close shave and then if you end up with problems when you shave you end up with a lot more dysphoria right reason i did this i did this because i wanted to see how exactly my facial hair grew as in what directions they come out that is why i encourage you <laughs> this is probably the only time where you don't have to be close baby face in front of everyone. So this might be the best possible time for you to give that a try. I wanted to grow it up to see exactly where my hair grew. This way I can figure out where I am shaving wrong and where I can go with the grain, across the grain. That is very important if you're trying to figure out how to get the best baby face shave possible. If you have come out and you do not wanna deal with your facial hair, this might be the best time to grow it out and finally see exactly where it's gonna grow to get that baby close shave that I know you want. Okay, I'm going to show you exactly what this looks like. <sighs> All right, here we go. It has been some trying times, I will say. It's... Wow, like it's gotten to the point where it's gotten softer. Like it feels kind of like feathery. It's like thin. It doesn't have that like painful like prickliness. It's just gotten softer and softer. It really grows down there. Like I always think it's the upper lip, but it's like by the chin and neck zone, it's real bad. And every time I see my hair grow out, it's so strange because I almost have like Asian hair. Like it only grows the chin and then the stash. It takes so long for this to grow. And then if I actually let it grow, I got like a, like a horseshoe thing going on. I could be a biker. I'm gonna go chop some firewood. It's like getting gingery. Like I get that for my uncle, but like we're Greek. So that's really weird. That's the weird thing. It's like I get my mom's skin tone and then my dad's face. And I get my uncle's beard. But I want to let you know, I hate how this looks. This looks horrendous. I cannot ever imagine myself rocking this in public without a mask. I've hated it. My girlfriend hates it. She used to call me SpongeBob SquarePace. Now she called me Porcupine Face. She doesn't even want to kiss me anymore. You want to come to my house tonight? I am going to show you pictures of my beard up close for you because the objective of this whole experiment is to see if where you are shaving, where you're shaving against the grain is actually against the grain. Because you are under the notion that everything just grows downwards. And that is absolutely not the case. Things grow this way. It can go up, like some guys necks go upward like this. On your cheeks, it goes, diagonal. It does not 
go this way. I was shaving against the grain going up. So let me get a razor. Yeah, so I've been going against the grain for a long time up like this when really it should be more like this. Also, you can see that my stash zone goes out from the left and through to the right. It actually goes at a diagonal. It does not go fully down. My neck is very strange. This kind of goes this way, like, like that. And then it partially goes, like once it gets to here, it partially comes up this way. The main thing is, it's almost like the beard goes up like that. It goes up this way. So at least now I understand that if I am going against the grain, I know exactly where the grain goes. This might be one of the instances where you want to revisit your beard and go back and grow it out. And now I can fully see how I should properly shave. And speaking of shaving, if you stay tuned, I'm going to get into the hack of using conditioner as a shave cream, because I did not bring that up in my shaving cream 101 video. So that is something that was asked by a user and I'm going to figure that out for you. The video is going to come out a couple weeks from now because it's going to be a series of shaves and I usually can't shave every day. I will shave this off in the first segment of that video and I am unbelievably excited. But I hope you learned a lot from this video and exactly kind of figuring out what gives you the best shave. That is all I'm here for. I'm trying to give these thoughts to you as to what gives you the barest looking face possible. And in order to figure out exactly how your own hair grows, you gotta let it grow. But thank you so much for watching. It's only gonna get better from here. Hopefully you enjoy this setup. It's gonna be a hell of a lot better. And if you like videos like this, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe because you will not want to miss what's going on next. All the best everyone and stay tuned for me shaving this puppy off with some conditioner. We'll see how that goes.